I'm Lauren Summers. Graham. I'm a mom of two little kids with one more on the way. So I have a sister in Christ. Personally has known me for many years, but also knows me as an artist. And she said, there's this online Christian blogger that's doing some sort of connection with art and worship thing that you might just want to check out. And one of the first questions in the series was, how do you worship with your artwork, with your gift? You know, whether it's painting or music or whatever, are you worshiping God with it? And I sat and thought, I'm not. And I don't know that I ever have. And I don't even know that I know what that feels like. And I prayed, I'm ready to do whatever it is you're calling me to do. Forgive me for where I am and whatever you call me to, I want, I want to say yes. I mean, it was like, I don't know what this, I don't know what to do now. I've said yes, but I don't know what that means. And so it was a, a true place of, I'm trusting that God is going to hold my hand and what this is about to be. And I said yes, and I'm not going back on it. And I trust that you're not gonna leave me. He hadn't left me before, and so I just trust he's not gonna leave me for the rest of it. So it's kind of a scary place, a good scary place. So I got home and I got a phone call from Andy who had met with this committee and said, your name was brought up. We wanna do the Stations of the Cross at the church. Aren't you kind of creative? And I said, mm, yes, mm -hmm, I am creative. And I'm thinking he doesn't know my background, which is I have a degree in art. I've studied in Italy. I've, lived by the Stations of the Cross in Cortona, Italy. Like, I cannot believe this is happening. He then goes on to say, we thought of you if you're willing, you know, let God lead you in the process. And again, I mean, I just started weeping because to have the freedom of just let God lead you was extremely powerful. I'd never really done that with artwork. So then began the next steps of that. Okay, I'm back to trusting you because now I still don't know what that looks like. <laughs> It was so seamless. It was so perfectly God to create the path, to ask and then create the path that I needed. There was no way I could have figured all that out by myself. But hands down, it was going back to the photographs that I had actually taken in Italy when I studied of the Stations of the Cross that God had put in front of me all those years ago that had prepared me. Then it became sketching, which was really hard. It just was really hard. And there's this evolution of his face that you can see in the process where my confronting the cross and being pained with him. And it's like everything then changed in a different direction. Like, I am, I am your holy God that still loves you. This is not a scary place and I love you so much. And so I would look at other paintings and then I would go back to scripture. And being that immersed in preparation is difficult really difficult because you think it's one thing to just talk about it and it's another thing to sit in a pew and have ashes put on your forehead and it's something else to look at that day in and day out and draw his face and draw holes in his hand it's really hard a beautiful hard had I not been so confronted by the cross I wouldn't be living like I am for him now and I'm glad for that <laughs>